Hello guys, this is Rich Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But if you're start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person on channel. Napunta rito at join sa devotional. Shout out and God bless to IV Blog, Francis Laiko, Carl on channel, Dianas TV, SSC TV of Korea, Juna Salundaga, Heart Ponsalan, Retro Blog, Connie Blog, Connie Love, Michael Aborita, Mabel Ducosin, Barashel Imbudo, Nempa Amutin, Gritz Figueroa, 24-7, Ping Bertolpo, Pamilya Lagan Channel, and even to those who did not join us during the premiere, but still, napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all, guys. TV Praise God, natapos na naman yung isang linggo na pag-aaral at pagtatrabaho sa mga natatrabaho from Monday to Friday, no? So, makapagpahinga tayo na ngayong gabi na to. Then, sulit-sulitin na natin yung pahinga natin, no? Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, bukas, dami tang gagawin, di ba? Linis ng bahay, <laughs> magluluto, <laughs> maglalaba, kung ano-ano pa yung ginagawa natin. But uh, we are assured that God's strength, strength is with us kasi you are here. No? Isa yan sa mga pinipray ko na tayo lahat ay may isa-strength talaga sa mga ginagawa natin. Na hindi tayo madaling maging ano, weak. No? But instead, we can move on to the things we're doing. I guess it's not proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Job chapter... 42 verses 1 to 9. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional of the Bible because the words used here is a simplified na maintenance talaga natin. Okay? So, the word of the Lord in Job chapter 42 verses 1 to 9 says, Then Job replied to the Lord, I know that you can do all things. No plan of yours can be thwarted. You also is that that obscure my counsel without knowledge. Surely, I spoke of things I did not understand, things too wonderful for me to know. You said, listen now, and I will speak. I will question you, and you shall answer me. My ears had heard of you, but how my eyes have seen you. Therefore, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. After the Lord had said these things to Job, he said to Eliphaz, the Timonite, I am angry with you and your two friends because you have not spoken of me what is right or my servant Job has. So now take seven bowls and seven drums and go to my servant Job and sacrifice a burnt offering for yourself. My servant Job will pray for you and I will accept his prayer and do and not deal with you according to your fully. You have not spoken of me what is right, as my servant Job has. So Eliphaz, the termite, termite, Bildad, and Shuhite, and so far, the Naamatite did what the Lord told them, and the Lord accepted Job's prayer. Amen and amen. I guess that's not praying. Lord, napaka-expensive pala kung ang tao noon ay magkasala because they need to kill something particularly high up o God, baka and anything on earth. Lord, buti na lang o God na at our time, this time o God, we can just go to you and ask for forgiveness and pray for blessing that comes from you. Yes, Lord, we're so sorry that uh, weren't able to share God's word to other people because we cannot reach them. We have difficulty reaching them. And I pray to God na uh, everything na, na rinig namin dito sa devotion will also be shared to our family members and even to mga kasamahan namin sa bahay, oh God. Kasamahan namin sa trabaho. Kasama mga tao sa paligid namin, oh God. 
Lord, help us to understand your word for this evening. Yes, Lord, we commit all these sins to you in this name. pray. Amen and amen. So, the focus verse we have for this evening, guys, is found in Job 42, verse 7. It says, I am angry with you and your two friends because you have not spoken the truth about me as my servant Job has. So, the title of the devotion for this evening, guys, is A Purpose in Suffering. So, what you're saying is, it may not be my fault. The woman's word took me by surprise, having been then uh, having been a guest speaker at her church we we're not discussing what i'd shared that morning i have a chronic illness she explained and i have prayed fasted confessed my sins and done everything else i was told to do to be healed but i'm still sick so i thought i was to blame ganyan ba tayo guys <laughs> no parang ano no bakit di pa ko na na, na na heal sa karamdaman ko, no? <laughs> Yun. I felt sad about the woman's confession. Having been given a spiritual formula to fix her problem, she had blamed herself when the formula hadn't worked. Even worse, this formulaic approach of, to suffering was disproved generations ago. Simply put, this old formula says that if you're suffering, you must have sin. When Job tragically lost his livestock, children, and health, his friends used the formula of him, who being innocent was ever perished. Elipa said, suspecting Job's guilt in Job verse 7, Bildad even told Job that his children only died because they had sinned in Chapter 8, verse 4. Ignorant of the real cause of Job's calamities. In chapter 1, verses 6 to chapter 2, verse 10. They tormented him with simplistic reason for his pain later receiving God's rebuke in uh, chapter 42, verse 7. Suffering is a part of living in a fallen world. Like Job, it can happen for reasons we may never know. But God has a purpose for you that goes beyond the pain you endure. Don't get discouraged by falling for simplistic formulas. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, <clears throat> Job is a righteous man. No. Pero God allowed him to suffer. Oh, ano? Napakasakit sa part ni Job na yung ari-arian niya na wala yung mga Tenants niya, mga taohan niya nawala, yung anak niya nawala, no? Uh, and even yung asawa niya nawala, everything he has are gone. Napakasakit. Tayo nga, yung isang bagay lang nawala, parang, wow, <laughs> we're bursting into anger, no? Grabe na yung galit natin. How much more for Job na in an instant nawala sa kanya lahat? Even sa wife niya, why won't you curse God and die? Grabe yung ano niya, no? yung asawa niya. Nag-encourage talaga kay Job na ganun yung gagawin. But praise God, Job was so calm. No? Nawala yung lahat sa kanya, but God gave everything to God. Kaya sa atin, no, let's not blame ourselves kung may mga mangyayari kasi there are things na inaalaw ni Lord na mangyari sa buhay natin. Kaya, kapit tayo kay Lord. Talaga, yan ang encouragement ko. Yan ang lagi kong pinipray. And yan din yung lagi kong sinasabi dito na let's hold on to God kasi God is in control. Alam ni Lord na takot tayo sa mga ganyang mga bagay. Kaya, uh, lapit tayo kay Lord. Let's uh, go to God, pray na Lord, hindi ko gusto mangyari ito, na ganyan, ganyan. And I think God will really answer our prayer, our petition, uh, petition kung gano'n, no? Ngayon, nung isang babae dito, sa nasa natin, uh, sinisi niya sarili niya na hindi pa siya gumaling, no? Dami niya na ginawa. Pero there are really those things na uh, inalaw ni Lord na mangyari sa buhay natin. I guess let's now proceed to the two question. How else do you see 
the suffering equal sin formula being used. Yes, no? Because of sin, we really suffer. No, kaya careful tayo sa sarili natin na hindi tayo magkasala. Uh, from sin, we suffered and then it leads to death. No? It's not me who is telling that, but if you are reading the Bible, it was written in the Bible. No? The sin would lead to death. Second question, why do you think it is still so prevalent? No? Parang kalos na kasi tayo sa mga ganyan. No? Parang hindi na tayo tatablan. <laughs> but God's perfect timing. He can do it. Kaya ano? Uh, balik na naman tayo. Kapit tayo kay Lord. The Lord, the God, our Savior is in control of everything. I guess let's not pray. Great physician give us words to heal, not hurt in times of pain. Amen. Amen. Yes, nasa kay Lord lahat-lahat ng hinihingi natin. Kaya hingi natin sa Kanya. Let's keep ourselves right with God so God would give us the things we are asking from me. God bless us always because I know God shall bless us 10 times better. This is again Richard Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo mulit sa muli. Paalam!